What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panjuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, you are going to learn how to set up your Android device in order to being able to test your applications that you are building in Android Studio directly on your phone. And this is super useful because sometimes you just want to have a quick way of testing your app and the emulator might be a little slow or it just doesn't work the same way as it would on your phone. And it's also always important to check out whether the application actually works on a real phone because sometimes it might work on the emulator but it doesn't work very well on the phone. So that's why it's really important to set this up and understand how it works and that's what we're going to do in this video. And if you think that's a cool idea and it will help you in any way and shape or form, then hit the like button and the subscribe button while you're at it and also check out the entire playlist where we're going to build a bunch of Android applications over time. So let's get started. Welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to run this application on your physical device, which means on your phone. Let's test this on a physical device. In order to run this application on your device, you need to activate the debugging feature. All right, therefore you can go to your settings and then scroll down to about phone. And here, so here in the settings, scroll all the way down and you should find about phone. And here you click onto about phone and onto software information. And there you find the build number. Now, when you click on the build number multiple times, you now in this case, I have to enter my password. And once I entered my password, I can press next and my developer mode has been enabled. Now I can go back and go back again. And then in my settings underneath about phone, I will now find developer options. So here I can click on developer options and you can see they are turned on. So the switch is set to on and now I can scroll down a little bit and activate USB debugging. So here you can activate this as well and it will say allow USB debugging and I'm gonna say okay because this will now allow me to connect to my Android Studio and directly test applications, test my code on the phone. Okay, now you of course need to also allow USB debugging once again. You can either allow it always from this particular computer or just do it once and I'm just gonna do it once here and then I can run it on my phone. All right, so let's do that real quick. Okay, so there we are. Now let's click on the button and you can see click me works. And it says, hi Dennis, and the number is adjusted all the time. All right, perfect. So now you know how you can prepare your phone to test the applications on your phone because this comes in handy if the virtual device is too slow or it just doesn't work for you or for whatever reason you don't like it, you can always test the application on the phone. Now, of course, the application will be installed on your phone. So if you go over, you will find your Hello World application there and you can open it anytime. So you have installed the APK on your phone. You can now show this application to your friends. For example, you don't need to bring your PC. You can directly show the app on the phone. All right, cool. So that is something that you will be using quite a bit or that I recommend you to use quite a bit throughout the course because the phone is just so much faster than the Android virtual device ever will be. So it's just a lot more fun to use it on the phone in my opinion. All right, so thanks a lot for following along. See you in the next video.